Last time we heard about Shishi Radharasa Sudanidi and quotes from Chaitanya Chari Amrita. And we came to verse number 72 in Radharasa Sudanidi. So today we will continue consequently in verse number 73. I hope you had all a very nice Radastami. We had a very nice uh, small festivity in uh, Merton. Very sweet. Like Radharani's nature is. So first we hear the topic and then we hear the quote, like always. So we will begin with um, the verse, because there are some quotes, not only one in the commentary, so we can read the whole commentary actually. And of course, then it's interesting to hear the verse. So verse number 73 in Shishi Radha Rasa Sudanidi. Oh, fate, I offer my obeisances unto you. In the powerful course of time, I have attained the nectar ocean of love rasa. Sri Radha, who is only attained by those who take exclusively shelter of the mood of the gopis. Even the great devatas, like Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, are unable to keep even a speck of dust from her lotus feet on their heads. So the title Shilananda Das Babaji gave here is Sri Radha, who is attainable in due course of time. Commentary. Sri Radha is sweetness personified. God's sweet aspect covers over the knowledge of his actual position and his prowess. Srimad Chiva Goswami has written in his commentary on Bhagavatam 10.12.10 just as nectar came forth from the churning of the cosmic ocean, so the devotees who worship God in his sweet aspect churn the ocean of Krishna's divine prowess with the pivot of love and attain the nectar of his sweetness. This book, Radharasa Sudanidi, is like a monsoon flood of divine sweetness. Although sweetness is the quintessence of Godhead, 
It is built on the foundation of God's innate prowess. Unless there is an underlying divine prowess, Krishna's sweet form, pastimes and qualities will appear to be mundane. Therefore, Sripad is sometimes hinting at external consciousness. He particularly praises the present age of Kali, saying that ocean of love nectar, Sri Radha, is gradually attained in due course of time by those who follow in the footsteps of the gopis. In due course of time means now that the age of Kali has come and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has appeared. So this is a hint what a special moment this is we are living in. Actually, all these hints are going into the direction of the mercy of our Swamini. Because only Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in this special moment is bringing us this jewel is bringing us this possibility to get the highest taste in rasa. By due course of time also means we can be full of hope. We just have to be one-pointed and stay one-pointed to our goal, Swamini Seva, and then it's sure that we will get it by the mercy of Radharani, handed by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu through the Guru Parampara directly, through Guru Dev to us. So what a mercy, what a special moment and what a special time. We may think Kali Yuga, it's a very bad situation. We all suffer under these circumstances, but actually this is not the positive way of thinking. The positive way of thinking is now it is the most easiest, the most easiest moment, Kali Yuga, to get the mercy. Srimad Shiva Goswami comments, on the Bhagavad verse Krishna Varnam Disha Krishnam eleven five thirty two in one day of Lord Brahma which contains fourteen Manu eras in the twenty eight fourfold era the Chatur Yuga of the Vaivasta Manu era. One Manu era consists of 71 Chatu Yugas. So at the end of Tvarapa Yuga, the Lord of Goloka, Sri Krishna, descends to earth to play his manifest Vrindavan pastimes. After each of these Krishna dissensions in the following Kali age is a dissension of a special avatar named Sri Gora, who wants to relish the sentiments of Sri Krishna's top most devotee. Sri Rana. 
Sri Ramananda Roy tells Mahaprabhu in Sri Chaitanya Charit Amrita Matya Lila 8 Nitya Gutta Kaya Tamara Prema Asvadhana Anusange Prema Moi Koile Tribhuvana Your own private reason to descend was to relish Radha's feelings of love. And as a by-coming factor, you filled the, the three words with Prema. It is said that whatever comes in touch with nectar, we get also nectar. So, this realm we are living in was touched by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which is Radharani. It's the mood of Radharani inside, and it's the shining of Brahma out of her, the golden avatar. So, actually, Radharani is touching in that form, that realm. So, if Mahabhav is touching here, what happens? The whole world is flooded with Brahma, completely filled up. So, this is the mercy. This is the glory of this Yuga. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was here and flooding everything with Prema. But not only that. The love that Mahaprabhu came to bring was Unnat Uchvala Rasa. It was never given before like that. The elevated amorous mood towards Krishna, Unat Ujjvala Rasa. This gift is Anarpita Charim Chirat, not given for a long time. Thus, Sri Rata's friendship and service has become attainable in due course of time by those who take shelter of the mood of the gopis. So no matter how much they worshipped Sri Rata, the benefactors of the world like Lok Shiva, the speaker of the Tantras, and Lord Brahma, the speaker of the Vedas, could not get her food dust on their heads. So what does that mean? Even Shiva and Brahma cannot easily get the food dust of Radharani on their head. But now we are flooded by mercy. And we get it more easy than Lord Shiva or Lord Brahma. It's hard to imagine, but we are in a more uh, lucky position because for us it's easier to get it. When we are together with the person who got it already, he is giving us, handing us that mercy, like Gurudev. So we are in a very, very lucky position. I'm sorry, I always tell this again and again, but what to say, it's always fresh again and again, because this mercy of Radharani is always fresh, and we have to really take this point in our heart, because Usually we try to think in a 
in a way, in a material way, that ah, actually everything is not so nice now in this time, you know, and it's hard to survive and whatever like that. But actually, like Gurudev said, concentrate on the positive. Actually, this is the point. This is the positive. We are in the flood of mercy of Radharani right now. And this is not an illusion. This is the reality. The illusion is that we think like all the others outside. This is the illusion. Nothing is hard now. Everything is very easy to understand that we are in the best position. We are standing in a line front of Radharani's mercy. And it's not that we have to wait in the line. No, no, we are standing in line and we just have to go further towards the mercy of Radharani. Take Take the dust which is already there. Take the mercy which is already there. It is already there. But if we are blind, we cannot see it. That's why Om Kyana Timirandasya Kyananjana Shalakaya Chakshu Unmilitam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Gurudev is opening us the eyes and say, hey, look here, it's there, just take it, stay connected, go further, it's there, open your eyes, it's there, my dear child, my loving child, it is here, you're crying for the mercy, for the best thing, but it's already there, just open your eyes. So we are so lucky. Maybe good if you want to give us further light on this point. <laughs> okay, I understood. So we are lucky. There's really no matter to be negative. Open your eyes. Sometimes it's a little bit that the, the light is uh, blending in the first moment, right? You come out of a dark room, you go in the sun, and then it's a little bit like, oh, it's too much light, it hurts in the eyes, yes, maybe. But if we stay there and open again, maybe close a little bit and then again, and a little, then the eyes get used to the light. And then we can go strongly on the path. In the beginning it may be a little bit stumbling because the light is too much, slowly, slowly. But then we can come more up in, in speed because we will have a clear vision and we say, yes, this is the way, this is the way. I was searching so long for that way, now it's clear, lying before, in front of my feet, I just have to go. So easy to walk that way now, in due course of time. We just have to go. If you want to go to the highest mountain, like Mount Everest, what do you have to do? You have to see the whole way till up, or you have to just see the next steps and go the first step. So if Gurudev has opened us the eyes for the first step, then we go the first step. Then he will open up more, the way will come more clear, and then we walk a little faster and a little faster, and then he opens up more, always in our speed, that we can see 
the next steps and the next steps and the next part of the way. So we go like that. But we are assured from beginning on, from the first step, that we will reach our goal if we just go on in due course of time. In due course of time, we will reach our goal. This is Prabhu. Do you know Prabhu? This dog is Prabhu. He's called Prabhu. He's the dog of Mohini. And he's a very special dog, I tell you. He is not a mere dog. He's a devotee dog, really. He only eats prasadam. He's a very special dog. You heard him now. <laughs> So if anyone wants to comment on that or has a question what we just went through this theme, of course, we always can say so much at points, but if you have a special question or some comments, please share with us. We always want to get richer through your sharings. Don't feel like it's disturbing or it's not, uh, you know, high enough for something like this. Don't think like this. Well, just ask or share your feelings, please. You're always invited. It's not a disturbance, no. It's really a help for all of us. We learn from each other. So if you feel like share or question, please, whenever you feel, do it. Otherwise, I will just go on. So the next quote I found from Chaitanya Charitamrita is in verse number 77, Radharasa Suranidhi. And again, we will hear first the verse, because also here are a lot of quotes of Chaitanya Charitamrita. So first we hear Srila Prabhupada Saraswati saying, My eyes restlessly search for the eternal nectarian, sweet, adolescent, loving form, Sri Radha, that is only visible in Brindavan. There was some disconnection, so I will read again. My eyes restlessly search for the eternal, nectarian, sweet, adolescent, loving form of Sri Radha that is only visible in Vrindavan, that cannot be described even by the Vedas, and that is not even perceived by Lord Shiva or Shukamuni in their meditations. Again we hear that we are in a more lucky position than even Lord Shiva or or Shukamuni. If we stay on the path and go on meditating, then we will get more and more open eyes by the mercy of Gurudev, and then we can even meditate on that 
what is impossible for Lord Shiva or Shukamuni. Isn't that a positive information? Why you don't dance? <laughs> we should dance and sing. It's really such a mercy. We are in a more bet in a better position than Lord Shiva or Shukami in their meditations. Isn't that amazing? By the mercy of Radharani. So Usually, our mother and Krishna, our father, because this is not rasic actually, it's tattvic, because actually it's a fact. But I want to go on this point because in my experience, it is very, very important to come to that state of consciousness, deep consciousness that Radharani is our Mama and Krishna our Papa, Mother and Father, because then we can be sure and then we can go into Rasa. Before, if we are in fear, we cannot jump into Rasa, isn't it? A child which is standing on the table, jumping, want to jump from the table into the arms of the father, the mother. Will the child jump if it doesn't have faith that it will be protected? No, it will jump. So it will not play because it doesn't have this faith. So, but if we accept this tattva, like Gurudev is saying, you sign with Krishna. That also means you sign with Krishna, yes, and you also sign with Radharani is my mother. You sign that. It's a fact. I have no doubt about it. And then I can jump from the material table into the spiritual rasta. I jump. I make the jump. No hold anymore. I just jump. And then I will land into that rasa. But if we are not accepting this fact in the heart, we cannot. So to come to the rasa, we have to first accept that. And we all have some impressions here. They may what they may be, but actually on that platform it will be completely different. So we have to try, to try again and again. And sometimes we don't feel like that we should try because there's some fear to go further, but then we should invest our faith. Whatever we have, we invest in that way again. Stand up and, you know, there's a saying like, if you fall down, you just make your crown again straight and you go on. So the crown of the mandri has to be straight because there is the dust of Radharani's lotus feet. This is actually the crown of the mandri. And then we have to go on. So take the dust of Radharani again and go on, stand up and go on your way again. And in this way, it's just a question of time. And we will get near, more near and get the mercy. And we are in a better position like Lord Shiva or Shukamuni. So we hear the commentary on this verse from Srila Anandadas Babaji. In Srimad Bhagavad, 10th Canto, Chapter 82, it is seen that the gopis were not happy to see Krishna 
as a warrior in Kurukshetra. They remembered his sweet pastimes in Braj and prayed to him to return to Braj with them. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepted the mood of Sri Radha and the gopis while he danced before the chariot of Lord Jagannath. Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj depicted his mood as follows in Chaitanya Charit Amrita Madhya Lila 13. Anjeraritayamon Amaramon Brindhavana Mone Bone Ekorichani Dahatomara Padhavyaya Gorahoya Deodaya Tabe Tomara Puna Kripa Mani For the for others the heart may be the mind. But my mind is Brindavan. I consider that forest and my mind to be one. If your lotus feet could appear there, I would consider that to be your full mercy. So it goes on. Brananak Shuno Mora Satya Nivedana Vracha Amara Sadana Taha Tamora Sangama Napoile Narahe Chivana. O Lord of my life, listen to my earnest prayer. Braj is my home, and if I cannot get your association, then I cannot remain alive. So in this connection, we remember what we heard before in 73. Radharani is only in Vrindavan. So if we just change the word Brananat with Braneshwari, this could be our meditation. O oh, Braneshwari, listen to my earnest prayer. Raj is my home. And if I cannot get your association there, I cannot remain alive. Bracha is my home. Because Radharani is only there in Braj. So I consider this forest to be my home. And I consider this forest to be my mind. My mind is Vrindavan. What does it mean to stay in Vrindavan? Srila Anandadas Babaji was asked this from some disciples. And he said, yes, it is said you have to stay in Vrindavan. Yes, it's true. And you have to come here to learn to know Vrindavan and the mood. But then you can be anywhere on the world. You stay in that mood means your mind is Vrindavan. Your mindset is Vrindavan. And then you meditate with that base on the Lilas. That means you are in Vrindavan. You cook at home in Germany or Austria or Japan or wherever, but 
your mind is always fixed in Vrindavan and you're helping your Swamini to cook for Krishna in Japan Vrindavan, Germany Vrindavan, Austria Vrindavan or wherever you are. That's Vrindavan. So for others the heart may be the mind, but my mind is Vrindavan. And even if you live in Vrindavan on this earthly planet, it doesn't mean your mind is in Vrindavan, isn't it? We have this experience, sometimes we were there, but the mind was uh, somewhere else. So we have to be the mind, Vrindavan. I consider that forest and my mind to be one. So that's a wonderful meditation. If your lotus feet could appear there, I would consider that to be your full mercy. Yes, Swamini. I want to see the footprints of yours in Vrindavan. So the next verse is Purve Utavatvare Epeshakshat Amare Yoga Kyanera Kohile Upoi Tumi Vidhakta Kripa Moi Jano Amara Ridhoi More Aiche Kohite Natchuyai. Previously you instructed us in yoga and kyana through Udava. And now you are personally teaching us this again. Just see me everywhere. There is no need for my personal presence and so on. You are clever and merciful. You know my heart. You should not speak to me like that. This is the mood of the Janna Mahaprabhu. As Radharani. Brindavana Govardhana Yamuna Pulinavana Se Kunjera Sadika Lila Sebra Chebra Jajana Matapita Bhandugana Bhutu Chitra Kemone Vasarila Brindavan Govardhan, the forest on the banks of the Yamuna, the Kunjas, our pastimes such as the Rasa dance, Braj, the people of Braj, your mother, your father and your friends. How amazing! How could you forget about them? So amazing. But what could it mean also for us? How could we forget our soul? How amazing. How could we forget our soul, us, our real person? How it's possible? that we forgot Vrindavan, our home? How it's possible that we forgot our Seva, Radharani's lotus feet, our shelter, to live in that shadow of Radharani, as shadow of Radharani? How could we forget?
Tu mara ye anya vesha, anya sanga anya desha, vraja jane kabu no hi poi. Vraja bumi chati denare, tu mana de kile mure, vraja jane ra hi hobe u poi. Now you wear a different dress, now you have other friends, and you live in another country. But this never appeals to the people of Braj. They will not leave Brajabhumi, but if they don't see you, then they will die. What should they do now? Isn't that also a description for us? When we are in a material consciousness, we are not in Vrindavan. And what will happen to us? We will die. Although we can, ne we can never die because we are soul. We are the servant of our Swamini, but then if we forget, we will have to die. It's like the gopis who are missing Krishna. So in this way, we miss the seva of Radharani and we will die. We cannot live without that. So this is the feeling of separation. And we have to first live in that feeling of separation and then our rati to to go back in the seva will grow and when we are completely full of this tension this feeling then we can reach it and this actually Srila Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati and Srila Raghunanda Goswami they are the role models of this feeling. They are missing their seva. They are missing Swamini so much. Like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is crying for Krishna in the mood of Radha. It has to be intense. And it has to get more intense and more intense and more intense till we smash our head on the floor crying out for Radharani. Where are you, my queen? I want to serve you personally. Now. So this is actually the way and it is shown by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he is giving us these feelings therefore it's written here by Ananda Das Babaji therefore anyone who wants to see Sri Mati Rata must Take exclusive shelter of Brindavan. And this is the meaning of my mind is Brindavan. Exclusive shelter. Your mind will become Brindavan. Because only in Brindavan is Radharani. And if you exclusively take shelter by Radharani's lotus feet, your mind will be Brindavan. Because Radharani is only in Vrindavan. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is giving us these feelings. If we just want to get them, we will get them. If we just want to accept them, they will grow in us. It's just that you want to have it. Not just once in a second, you know, like, yes, would be nice. No, you really have to want it more and more, more intense and more intense and even more intense.
Actually, it's the same like you want to get something in the material world. If you are not exclusively fixed on that goal, if it's a big goal, you will never reach it. You have to give all your power. You have to focus your mind like some laser. A laser, it's one pointed. And then all your energy is completely fixed on that goal and then you will reach it. It's just a question of time. In the same way, we will reach the seva of Radharani if our mind gets more and more, more and more fixed like a laser, bundled, more and more bundled. Now it's destroyed, it's everywhere. But we have to put it more and more in one point, more and more, more and more, more and more. And we cannot do it alone. We have to ask Gurudev, we have to get the mercy, we have to ask Radharani, please help me to fix my mind exclusively like a laser on that point. But this needs faith. What will be about all my other things? I need to live, I have to earn money, I have to, you know, all this. If your mind is completely focused on Radharani, which is the highest form of love, in love all these needs are inclusive, of course. How it could be love if it wouldn't be inclusive? Is a mother not taking care of the child, of all needs? Isn't that just normal? I mean, even here in our realm, more or less, it's normal. What to speak of Radharani? You will have everything, whatever you need. But the mind has to be more and more bundled like a laser to one point exclusively. And then it's just a question of time. In due course of time, we will reach the goal. For sure. Because if you sign the contract, you have to think also on the other side. You signed. But that also means Krishna and Radharani also signed. What actually they signed, they will take care of all your needs. It's written in Bhagavad Gita. They will take care of all your needs. You don't have to worry. You signed, it's a contract. So then you just have to go on. That's it. Therefore, anyone who wants to see, do you want to see Srimati Radharani? Really? You want to see her? I mean, face to face, not just. I mean, please forgive me that I say just not just in the form of a deity, I mean, really, face to face, do you want to see her? Really? You want? Do you really want to see her? If, then you have to take exclusively shelter. Then, Tripad says, the Vedas and the Upanishads are unable to keep Radha's sweetness on their heads. 
The Vedas and the Upanishads are unable to keep Radha's sweetness on their heads. Sri Radha is the greatest secret. So that means in that moment you are above the Vedas and Upanishads. Not because you are genius, no, because Radharani's mercy is so genius. She will lift you up above. Because the Vedas teach fruitivity, the Upanishads teach wisdom. Loving devotion is a great secret and it's described in a very hidden way, in a very hidden way. Like Gurudev said, you can maybe more or less easy come into an office, like you have some connection with Krishna in business deals, then you will maybe come to the office in Aishwarya. Not so difficult. You have to know where you have to go and tell the secretary or whatever is the contact person. And then you will meet the boss. But it's not so easy to come home to him in the living room. And of course, more difficult to come in his Sleeping room, isn't it? That's a secret, not open for everyone. But we want to be with Radharani in the most confidential room. We want to be very intimate. We want to serve her in a very intimate way. So that's hidden. It's not available for everyone. You have to have a special mindset for that. And you have to forget about Krishna as God. There is no God anymore. You are godly. Krishna is God means we are one family. It's, no, it's nothing special, isn't it? Family. Like Lila Mai sitting at home in the rooms of her father, isn't it? Right? Yeah. It's not very it's not very difficult to be there with him, isn't it? And you're very it, it, it's just natural to be there, isn't it? Because he's your father, huh? More or less, hmm? it's natural. So because She's the daughter of him. It's natural. Nobody will keep her outside. No, 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 you cannot enter. You know, it's a very special person. Hey, go away. I'm the daughter. Go out of my way. So in this mood, we have to come in. Radharani and Krishna, it's family. It's not, you know, nothing special. It's, it's our family. We are holy, they are holy. That's just the way it is. It's normal. This is our step out of Aishwarya. Because when you are in Aishwarya, oh God, oh God, highest. Then you're still in the mood, give me, give me. You are so high, you can give me everything, yes. But if you forget about all this, you want just love, then you just go inside and exchange love, because it's family, isn't it? And if this is a fact, then you can go in Lilas, isn't it? With the family, you can play, you can ride on the back of the father. Here, here, go! Like this, isn't it? Then you can go in Lilas. And the more 
confidential, you can go in the lilas with Mama in her love affairs. And you can serve her in that way. The highest form, most confidential. Rade, Goravani. Yes. Rade, uh, I have one question. Uh, how did you deal this conflict? You said Mama and Papa. You hear me? Again, please. I I, I didn't get the first sentence. Yes. Uh, you said Mama and Papa. Uh, yes. How did you deal with this uh, conflict? Uh, I mean, me being a baby, I appreciate very much if my mama and papa love each other. <laughs> okay. Yes. But but I'm not interested in their intimate affairs. It's not my business. Yes, because you don't see it as a game. You cannot see it out of the eyes of just a game. It is not what we can see in the material world, which is a sexual relationship, which is based on lust, because this actually is not the same. They don't need any sexual relationship like we know that. They are just exchanging love on different platforms and we are part of the game. That's it. It's just a game. If you are on the same level, completely pure. It's the purest. It has nothing to do with anything tinged with lust, with material lust. It's just rati. Rati means it's the highest form of love, which is giving you this intense feeling. It's rati. This is not lust. It's called lust sometimes because it's so intense that it may seem like lust. Because I need, I want, I, I, uh, I cannot live without it. But it's not lust. Completely different. If you see it from a game, you can, you can play to murder someone, isn't it? But to murder someone is something else. If you are just playing it, it's not easy. Uh, it's not so difficult, isn't it? You take a pistol, which is not really a pistol plastic, you make bang, bang, and the other falls down, you know, it's just a game. Nothing bad about it. It's just a game of love, you have fun. So you cannot see it out of the material eyes, but maybe Gurudev can give us a little bit more uh, light on that and uh, answer that question also. Radhe. Radhe Gurudev. Mother, how we say that for the Basha Dirasa, Mother give Mother Lita. And why we are child, we want to be shadow of practice. Shadow means to become like her, her feeling, her nature, everything. The mother what do? Mother do the when baby born, she breastfeeds. So our spiritual life is only depend upon the Radhika breastfeeding of love. She feeds the love inside the, the constitutional position that I develop that love to become her shadow. So she has a motherly love. We cry. You know, the baby when the bring the mother breast, she put the finger in the navel, and they say, 
Mama, my and your connection is never to me. Not that you cut me, but we are connected never to never. That Pantiriku. This is the feeling, this is the Bhastali Rasa in between Radha and Manjaris. She gave like a mother. Why she go to every day to Mother Jasoda to learn how to give to my babies baby love? Because they are my child, like my child. They are innocent. They don't know anything. They are unqualified. They come to me. And they want to learn the, from me only by love. <laughs> only mother can give love, and it, with love she teach everything. Nobody can teach. We never forget that, the love of me. If she becomes angry also is a love. She is heavy, then is love. She is kind, then is love. But her nature, she never becomes heavy. She only wants to improve us with her bachelor loving nature. And what you want to say, fatherly love. Fatherly love is father want to see the result. Then he loves son. If he is not result oriented, father not accept. See that? Mother not see the result oriented. Mother love in any circumstance. If he is qualified, not qualified. For father, it is very necessary that child has to be qualified. And when she teach the devotion, he teach the love from her, then say, go to son. Now you understand the Everybody will, because you are totally surrendered to me, you know the, what is the meaning of devotion and love and feelings. Without love, there is no feeling. Without relation, there is no feeling. You understand this. Then the Manjari starts looking Radha's Krishna. Krishna is not suffering. This Krishna, this God, this Father, what you say in the form of anything, is my Radha's Radha's Krishna. So, when she teaches devotion, he says, You are fit to any place to serve. But we serve for Radha's goal is my Radha, no other. So, if you want to explain mother teaching, it is more important to understand the devotion and to change your behavior in loving Radha. Father don't know to teach him. 
Sorry, he need only result. He teach with the stick. Immediately, no tolerance. Mother angry also, hidingly giving also, everything to mother. Similarly, Radhika is giving that mother this. Hidingly, she do. Nobody knows what I she do for us. So only when we close to her, Swamini, my everything, Swamini means my everything, my mother, my friend, my everything, you are my everything. I don't know anyone than you. I see one time, one baby, he don't want to leave the mother lap. Mother want to give to the father, but this baby not agree to go to father. He like to be the motherly lap. Then I understand motherly love is so important. We will not want to leave. Mother become tired. She cannot carry, but she is not ready. Any circumstances go to father that she is always not trying. My God. So I feel so much Bhattadhyaya of Mother. Right or not? We only believe Mother words that He is your Father. And the baby accepts. He not go to see that, that is my Father or not. If mother lying or right or wrong, only mother say is your father, baby is okay, my father. <laughs> this love of baby. So she said, Oh, my baby he is my Krishna. So we start. Radha's Krishna, we want Radha's so What is the problem? I don't want to God and I don't want anything from him. He's a Radha's Krishna. But he is, we like him, because this is Radha's Krishna. Right? Gorvani, you want to say like this? Gurudev, he always can read my heart. My dear, you can express you are so much better than me. Starting from you, I relish so much when I listen. And yeah. I relish when I listen to you. So, what to do now? <laughs> <laughs> this is all money, Master. <laughs> Without knowing Gaura, Unnatu Jalrasa is not understanding his day. So we are very lucky to live in that age, in that so called horrible Kali Yuga. So actually, when a child serves the mother, the child doesn't understand what the mother is doing with the father because it has no inclination in that uh, way, isn't it? We now know what is sexuality, but as a child, small child, you don't know, isn't it? 
So you just serve the mother and you serve all aspects of the mother. That's very pure. If you see it in that pureness, then it's more understandable. But anyway, you cannot understand it. You have to feel it, actually. That's the point. One thing I see is also mercy. You know, if your material desire want to finish, how you can finish? If my desire is for that, how I will finish it? That is the way you move this meditation for the Divine. Divine will change in all Divine. divine you see like this, what you have to see, but if you put your mind and concentrate like this, that Divine will change your all material desire and Divine. This is why this is mentioned with Mahajan, who is renounced and liberated soul. Why? to attack the material living people, material mind involved there, to how to pure this material mind with these things. Words, they use these words. Maybe if you go with material mind in that meditation, that material thing will become divine. Meditate one year. That way also it will become divine. Your desire will finish in material world. You will forget to meditate there, to enjoy the material senses. You will come to see this spiritual divine feelings and loving exchange. That way, automatically I will become pure. And my desire will be over. We will not run for this. If we will run to see that, and when I will start seeing that, all material desire is over. And what I will see, only divine. And by looking, looking divine, I will become divine. This is the beauty of divine. My mind will become divine. My body will become divine. My senses will be divine. Is a lollipop for the material greedy people that they show the lollipop, come here and then you will meditate here and all your material circumstances will become pure. This is to realize you do only meditate and see how things change. Prabhupada said, you need the higher taste. This is what Gurudev just said. You need a higher taste to, to get rid of the lower taste, isn't it? Yeah, oh, I forget this time. <laughs> This has to be there. Lust has to be there. Lust is the best bad thing, lusty person. But I say lust is necessary. Greed is necessary. Love is necessary. Relation is necessary. And feeling is necessary. If we have no feeling, we are going to be in garbage. 
without feeling is a material. And material means when is the useful, I use and I throw it out. This is garbage. These are important. And this only come by the mercy of her, my son. Well, yeah, we will go to learn this. Jesus talked about love. Right? He talked about his father. But love is talking. He got the love. Then he talk about his father and relationship. One step after, and we are beginning, beginners, we talk how to learn the love. Understand? How to be in love, how to, to take the center of love. You understand? If these are divine things, is all connectivities of divinity is always connected. You take Vedas, or you take the Jesus, lover has to be there, Bhagavad has to be there, mad person has to be there. That we are searching. For what? Not for material things, for love. Gurudev, I'm so happy that I met you, Pagal, crazy person in love. <laughs> I said, Jesus in love is Father, but we want to learn the love. <laughs> we want to take the center of love. We are not codified like him. We are unqualified. Right? Simple. Why make complications? We just need mercy. And mercy come when love come inside us. This is mercy. If not, then you will become priest. That I don't like. Atheist, priest, emptiness with love. That is not my fault. This is religion. This is not business with the spirit. You are a good religious people, but you cannot be a developed feeling and love. Good and bad and good and bad we see. But basic thing is the love. Basic thing is the relation. And basic thing is a feeling. How it will come, I need that. Right or not? I just remembered a story in this connection, Gurudev. When Krishna is asking for the dust of the lotus feet of the Vaishnavas, what other brahmanas, the religious people do? They say, no, 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 I cannot give my, my dust of my feet on the head of the Lord. I will go to hell. Why they say like this? Because they are religious. 
But the good thing is, Shiva not want to give, Brahma not want to give, Vishnu don't want to give, because they don't want to go in hell. Religious people not want to give. Now you see. Say, where you find the dust? Say. Only the gopis immediately, without thinking. Oh, Krishna has a headache, he needs my dust. Of course. Let, let me go to hell anyway. This is love. I do one time not. I'm ready to do, go a hundred times to hell for my. <laughs> <laughs> this is love. And go immediately. I don't want to see. Quick go. And when Nala took this dust, he crying and danced. He don't want to give Krishna. He say, I am very fortunate today. This dust. Today I understand who loves you. You love every place, everyone, but who loves you today? I Love has no rules, no regulations. No reason for love, no season no for reason. love. <laughs> <laughs> Jai Gurudev, thank you so much. <laughs> and that's why we have to come out of these religious thoughts out of these material thoughts, that we can get these feelings, not understand, get it, live in it. You cannot understand a feeling. Can you understand how much I love my wife? You cannot. It's not understandable. I cannot explain. But you can feel how much Radharani loves Krishna if you are her shadow. And then you feel what she is feeling and this gives the connection and this is giving you so much nectar that you don't ask for anything anymore. No need anymore for anything. You're not only satisfied, you're completely satisfied. You're completely in love, in ecstasy, in Ananda. You are Satchit Ananda as a soul and then you are in this Ananda. That means you are where you belong in your eternal constitutional position, like Prabhupada said. So in this way, nothing to go for anymore. Just serve Radharani blissfully. That's it. And this is this speciality which is handed Unat Uchwala Rasa. We can serve that by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
that's why actually all the scriptures like Radha Rasa, Sudhanidhi and Vilap Kusum actually, they, base, they are based actually on Chaitanya Charitamrita. They are based on the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Without Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the scriptures wouldn't be there. So we can understand actually the quotes of Chaitanya Charitamrita Amrita in the scriptures, they are the base of the whole thing. The mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the base of all that, what we hear, what we feel if we go in meditation. So without the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, not possible. Then we cannot feel what's going on. Sri Radha's eternal adolescence is full of sweet, of sweet nectarian love. Yes, you can hear it many times, but can you feel it? Is there any way to do sadhana or something that you can feel it? No, you need the mercy of a person who is able to feel it and he can share that feelings into your heart, give a drop into your heart and then you start to feel it also. This is costless mercy. You cannot earn it. You cannot by any means of sadhana get it. You can beg for it, open your hands and wait for the moment that it hits your heart. Only by the mercy of great souls we can get it. So Srila Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati is sharing his feelings with us. This is such a gift. We can never understand. We can just try to get the hints of Anandadas Babaji, the hints of Gurudev, the hints of other great souls, and open our heart more and more so that our vision again sees the next steps and the way will be more and more clear and we will See it and walk it. And then we will feel Sri Radha's every limb is made of nectarian law. It's not a material body. The body of Radharani consists out of her qualities, like her ears. They are just listening the glories of Krishna. They are made out of that. This is giving the shape of the ears. The quality is forming her limbs. It's not a material body. It's made out of Mahabhav. Radha's every limb is made of nectarian love, the purest nectar of love, the quint essence of love. Bremera Swarup Deha Brema Vibhavita Krishnera Preyasi Shreshta Chakate Vidita Chaitanya Chavit Amrita. Every limb is made of nectarian law. Shripat says Tadrupam Parivestum Evanayanam 
Uyamanam mama. Ulayamanam mama. My eyes are greedily searching for that sweet form. Very greedy because every little part of the body of Rata is the sweetest, the most sweet nectar. And to see one part of her body is already overwhelming. You can meditate on this millions of years. Only one little part of her body. What to speak of the whole body of Radha? You cannot digest. Only kinkeries, manjaris. They can stay stable by seeing that form. Krishna not. He will fall unconscious. It's so overwhelming that he cannot contain his consciousness. He will drop down. Only the mandaris and kinkaris, because they are in Sevaras, they want to serve. By the mercy of Radharani, they can actually stand that form, seeing it, smelling it. With all the senses, they can have this impression of Swamini. Still, they are doing so. Only Manjuris and Kinkaris can do like this. Seeing the sweetness, really? Because the gopis are also there, but they are not aware of that sweetness in that way. So, we are in such a wonderful position. We cannot imagine right now, but more and more we will feel it. And then we will become also Pagals, crazy lovers of our Swamini. And we will cry out for her 24-7, more and more intense. And we want to see her, we want to serve her personally. And this all starts by the mercy of Guru and end up by the lotus feet of Radharani. So that's the good news for today. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gurudev, for your mercy, your blessings. You're always being with us in love. Thank you all for being here, spending your time. See you soon. <laughs> Jai Shri Rade. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the good news. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a little question. One question. Please. I can see Bandavan is full of devotees. Please send your blessings to us. Right now, in this moment out of love, without asking. Jai Siddhade! Here, Chakshu, Gurudev, here's Chakshu with me. Radhe Radhe Gurudev! Chakshu Dhamdeva Jai, Janme, Janme, Prabhu Sri. You have many mandaris around you. Radhe Radhe, you give Chakshu to us. I gave you the coffee. Did you like the coffee? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fresh but air. I all like.
So I can send more. Your Chachudan Dilude Janmay Janmay You give me the divine vision to see. That's what you say. <laughs> it's a blessing, no? Mm -hmm. It is a divine Chachudan. We want to see through your eyes with the eyes of love. You have to give this one. Like God wants you. Without listening his words, you will not understand God wants <laughs> <laughs> Gurudev, you are giving so much blessings today. Amazing. Thank you very much for that blessings. Huh? Mm. Yeah. 